Welcome to Take 10 from EnviroCleanse, where we take 10 minutes out of the day to discuss different ways to live a less toxic lifestyle. This month, we will be discussing, are these five household items polluting your air? Your indoor air quality is very important because most Americans spend close to 90% of their time indoors. But did you know that your indoor air quality could be two to five times more polluted than typical outdoor air? You may be asking how. Well, your home contains many different items like your furniture, flooring, and cleaning products that release many different chemicals into the air. Formaldehyde is most commonly used in the manufacturing industry and can be found in cigarette smoke, burning fuels, plywood, pressed wood, and textiles used for furniture and clothing. Now let's get into, are these five household items polluting your air? Most people enjoy the smell of candles within their home, but they are not the best for when trying to maintain good air quality. Candles emit many chemicals into the air. One way you can tell that something is lingering in the air is the smell. The different fragrances that are used in candles are a composition of volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, that give the fragrance its characteristic aroma. Anything that burns and produces smoke into the air will release particulate matter. Scented candles will release higher rates of particulate matter into the air due to the extra ingredients added to add the extra smells. Lead is also a concern when it comes to candles and is actually one of the biggest health risks associated with scented candles. According to Dr. Ruhwala's study, these cancer-causing agents emitted from paraffin wax candles can lead to brain, lung, and central nervous system damage, along with other development difficulties. But what kind of candles are the safest? Well, let's first go over the most common types. Paraffin candles are made from petroleum and are typically a cheap and effective candle to use in an indoor environment. But paraffin candles release highly toxic VOCs when burned, including known human carcinogens, benzene and toluene, that can significantly impact human health. The second kind of candle is soy candles. Soy candles have the ability to last longer and hold on to the scent from the essential oils, which will not release fragrance chemicals in the smoke of the candle. And thirdly, there are beeswax candles. Beeswax candles will effectively reduce allergies, asthma, and hay fever, and will not contribute to the release of contaminants into the air like other candles. Another thing to take note when purchasing candles is the wick. Remember, wicks often contain lead. To ensure that you are not getting a candle with lead, read the label and look for a 100% cotton wick. So, the next time you light a candle, make sure they are lead-free, and maybe open a window to remove some of the VOCs. Everyone loves a new mattress. No more lumps and or random springs in their back. But with new mattresses comes with more VOCs. Who thought that your new mattress would be emitting VOCs in your air? The most commonly identified VOCs found within mattresses include formaldehyde, toluene, chlorofluorocarbons, benzene, trichloroethane, and perfluorocarbons. From different kinds of foams, cotton, adhesives, and flame retardants, mattresses are made with many different materials and chemicals. There are a bunch of different kinds of foams like memory foam, gel memory foam, polyurethane, Methane foam and viscoelastic foam. The most hazardous of all is the polyurethane foam. This type of foam is made with a petroleum base which is a major concern for pollution. A very well-known material, cotton, is used in mattresses for softness and padding. This crop is heavily contaminated with pesticides during its development. Flame retardants are regularly used in the making of a mattress. Flame retardants are chemicals that are applied to materials in order to slow the start or growth of a fire. Minnesota Department of Health found that in worst-case scenarios, inhaling low amounts of VOCs over a period of time can increase the overall risk of cancer, central nervous system damage, and even kidney and liver damage. But the majority of people that are exposed to new mattress smell won't experience any major side effects except for the occasional headache, nausea, and eye and throat irritation that can result in asthmatic symptoms. It's exciting to give your house a nice floor upgrade, but can get costly. When it comes to selecting the ideal flooring of your home, many consumers are opting for vinyl flooring that is durable, versatile, and cost-effective that will save you some major money. However, this type of flooring is actually packed full of toxic chemicals that can pollute your indoor air and possibly affect the health of those exposed to this environment. Over 14 billion pounds of vinyl flooring is manufactured in the United States each year and installed into homes and other indoor spaces. Vinyl tile flooring is constructed of new or recycled 
recycled polyvinyl chloride, or PVC, that is known to be one of the most environmentally hazardous consumer materials that is produced for flooring. A recent study found that vinyl flooring contains toxic chemicals that include phthalates, lead, flame retardants, and VOCs like formaldehyde that will off-gas into the air after being installed in a home. So what are these chemicals? Phthalates is a chemical used to make plastics more flexible and harder to break. Lead is a naturally occurring element found in the Earth's crust. While it has some beneficial uses, it can be toxic to humans and animals, causing health effects. Lead and lead compounds have been used in a wide variety of products found in and around our homes, including paint, ceramics, pipes and plumbing materials, solders, gasoline, batteries, ammunition, and cosmetics. The term flame retardant refers to a function. It's actually a combination of variety of chemicals added or applied to a material in order to slow or prevent the start or growth of a fire. Children may be particularly vulnerable to the toxic effects of these chemicals because their brain and other organs are still developing. Formaldehyde is a colorless, flammable, strong-smelling chemical that is used in building materials. This chemical is also used to preserve specimens in labs or research centers. The first two weeks after installing the floors will be the strongest off-gassing. But off-gassing can last for months. The duration of time will depend on a variety of factors. Fresh, new, fluffy carpets feel great under your feet. But did you know that according to the Ecology Center, synthetic carping releases over 40 different chemicals into the air, including styrene and 4-phenyl cuclohexane? Most synthetic carpets and rugs are made from nylon fibers with a polypropylene backing. The use of polypropylene fabric is becoming increasingly more popular in a number of different consumer and industrial applications, and thus the risks and dangers that this type of material may present to the environment has been hardly scrutinized. But what is this polypropylene that we keep talking about? Polypropylene is a synthetic fabric that is made from hydrocarbon fuels that have the potential to negatively impact the environment. The polypropylene and can take nearly hundreds of years for this material to decompose, according to Suport. Polypropylene has some pros such as affordable, stain resistant, and easy to clean. New carpets release VOCs the most for the first four to five days, but can off gas for longer. So after installing a new carpet, try to keep good air circulation. Homes often become very dirty and germy because of the amount of time we spend indoors. This is not uncommon and is usually the reason why we clean it in the first place. But after we finish cleaning, we now start picking up the cleaning chemical residue, which might become a problem to some people. Probably one of the most common cleaning products used to clean houses is bleach. When cleaning your house, you want to make sure that your house is really clean. And what better than bleach? Did you know that bleach was the cause of 34,000 calls to the U.S. Poison Control centers in 2011? These statistics were shared in the California Department of Pesticides regulation fact sheet called What's the Problem with Bleach? containing the different hazards presented from bleach into the environment. The California Department of Pesticides regulation also states, research shows that those workers that have been exposed to bleach can develop new asthma from this exposure as it occurs over time. The Association of Occupational and Environmental Clinics stated that in 2012, bleach was identified as an asthmagen, which means that this chemical disinfectant can cause asthma, not just trigger asthma attacks in those who already suffer from asthma. In fact, Clorox, a major manufacturer of bleach, state that bleach and ammonia should never be combined together as these chemicals can potentially form a toxic gas in the air. A number of cleaning products that many households use on a daily basis contain ammonia as an ingredient in at least one of their cleaning agents. The unfortunate truth is that ammonia is a commonly found ingredient in household chemicals chemical cleaners, and it will result in the emission of ammonia and its odor into the home. It is necessary to research the ingredients that are used in your cleaning products to ensure that they are all safe and non-hazardous to the environment and the health of those in this indoor area where the cleaning agent is used. Some people use different combinations of natural ingredients like vinegar, baking soda, hydrogen peroxide, essential oil, olive oil, and water. Although this is better than using chemical cleaners, it does leave you with odors, especially vinegar and essential oils, and the performance is not to the standard as traditional cleaning products. One solution would be to find a non-toxic, odorless, chemical neutralizing product that you can use after cleaning with traditional cleaning products. That's it for this episode of Take 10. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Down below, we have a link to sign up for our monthly newsletter that covers different topics from laundry, air quality, to household cleaning tips. 
Also check out our other social media sites down below. And if you want to read more about something we talked about in this video, there are articles down below. Come back next month for another Take 10. Have a great day.